everything I do now is in Notion or near as damn it. So if we're going to be spending that long on the platform, let's get it looking amazing. In this video, I'm going to talk you through how to create perfect icons for your Notion workspace in under five minutes. Welcome to Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos every single week. So let's jump straight into Notion now and have a look at what icons are and how we can create them to be perfect for our pages. So here we are on my today's lessons workspace and this smiley face is the icon for this page. We'll see that also this icon, if we have as our icon, represents that page both on the browser tabs up very top left of my screen but also just anywhere else in my Notion workspace. If I go back up to the lesson grid, we can see that, that today's lessons page has the icon there as the icon to represent that page. So the icon that we choose here, you will see that, so you'll see the icon that we choose here elsewhere in your workspace. So let's make it relevant, let's make it representative of what's on the page. So that we see that icon elsewhere in the system, we know exactly which page it is. And um, we therefore want to make it look as beautiful, as cool as we possibly can. So we're going to do that today, okay? At the moment, it's the de almost the default smiley face icon that will come on a Notion page. I'm going to go and create something a lot better than that. All right, so I will jump into the Noun project, which I'll be linking to in the... Um, description of this video and in the nine project they have over three million icons okay and i'm just going to jump in there i'm going to click today all right i'm going to run down here and look at the different options and look just for the word today a couple of hundred options there let's find one i particularly like and we'll say that's pretty cool isn't it that that does a trick here we go right and yep, that's good for me. I use Awesome Screenshot to grab my images from anywhere that I'm gonna use them. So I'll jump in here, select that image. There we are, capture. I'll link again to Awesome Screenshot in the description of the video. We'll download that, perfect, and jump straight across into Canva. Okay, now in Canva, what we need to be doing here is we need to create a, a design which perfectly fits the Notion icon dimension, required dimensions. The required dimensions of a Notion icon are 280 by 280 pixels. Okay, so we can jump into Canva, create a design. And when we scroll down here, we go to custom size and we want to type in 280 by 280 We'll create that new design. Canva will then show us that. It's brilliant. And we're going to upload this. Oh, so I need to download my calendar icon and then jump into Canva and then we're going to upload the calendar icon that I've just selected. Cool, and I know now that little white space that we're shown there, that is 280 by 280, so if I fill that, that will work as my Notion icon. I just want to centralize it a bit. Okay, now, so that would then, that would in theory do. Now the issue, let's do it, if we, We take that image as it currently is, okay? And we download that, very quickly download it. Okay, so straightforward really once you've got the knack of it. So I've downloaded that image from Canva. I'm gonna choose my downloaded image, which is this one. It's dropped in there. Look, you've got an icon, it's okay. It's not amazing, could be better. At the moment, we, we can see this white outline behind the, the icon image. So let's jump back into Canva and there's a few things we can do now. We'll click on the, the image that we dropped in from elsewhere on the web. We we'll click edit image, we call it background remover. Okay, now I think this background remover is a premium um, 
Premium feature in Canva. Thoroughly recommend Canva Premium if you're doing lots of this stuff and you want to design your workspace to look really, really great. You can produce teaching resources on it, you can produce images, you can do produce one page or revision guides, make it all look super attractive. It's very, very functional, uh, very, very easy to use. So there I've removed that background image. I've removed the background. Okay, so there I've removed the background from my, uh, my image in Canva. Now if I come in here and I scroll down and hit download, I want, I want it to be a ping, I want it to be a transparent background, which again is a premium feature in Canva. Okay, thoroughly recommend Canva Premium. Hit download. And then we upload that image into Notion. And there we have it. Look, so we've, because the, we've made the background transparent of our icon, we can see through it. And we've got this cool aspect where, you, yes, we've got our cover image on our page, but we've also got our little background removed from the icon. And we can go and apply that to any sort of picture or image that we want to have as an icon for our page. Okay, and you can then style your pages on icon. Or start, you can then style your pages on Notion to fit that uh, a particular theme that you, you particularly like. Okay, hope that was super useful. Just helping you to make your workspace look a bit more aesthetically pleasing uh, in order that when you're in there, it's a uh, satisfying look at and it's a nice place to be in a digital world. You've been watching Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.